Hey guys, it's Rani. So for this phone case, I'm going to be using some twine, my crazy glue, and this really old phone case is really stained. I really don't mind if it's ruined after this. I don't use it anymore. But if you do care about your phone case, which I'm guessing most people will, I would just add a coat of like acrylic paint just to protect it and just work over it. But I'm going to be gluing my twine, going across with my twine, then folding it, and then just covering like the other side and pretty much going back and forth until I cover the whole thing. My twine is like uh, an old school one, it's like pretty old, like those stiff ones. Then I'm going with my scissors, removing all those like hairs of twine, I don't know how to call these things. Now because I did cover the whole thing with my twine, I'm going to be taking some like detail scissors and then just cut the twine that is covering the gap for the camera. This gap is like tiny. If you have a newer phone and a newer phone case, those gaps tend to be way bigger, so it's going to be easier for you. And yeah, then I'm going to be decorating this. First, I'm going to be using some white acrylic paint, my brush. I think this brush is like for eyeshadow. I just use it for painting. And I'm just going to be covering the whole thing, giving this two or three coats until it's like opaque. Feel free to work with spray paint if you prefer. And when I was doing this, the first coat reminded me of like frosted shredded wheat cereal. But yeah, then I'm going to be using some red and black acrylic paints. And my brush, again, another brush for eyeshadow. It's like pointy and round came from a set that I bought for like eyeshadow like a long time ago. First I'm going to be adding a stripe of black paint in the middle for Santa's belt and because I'm working with twine, I'm going with my fine brush and just covering all those tiny gaps. You're gonna have a bunch but it's okay. And then I'm going to be covering the rest in red, doing the same thing, giving this two or three coats and using my detail brush to cover all those gaps. I'm going to be using my white and my detail brush again and just draw the buckle which is pretty much a square and just make it as thick or as thin as you want it to be. I went I guess for the thicker side and then painting this with my yellow acrylic paint giving this two or three coats. I added white by the way first in everything just to make my colors pop up more. As a final step I'm going to be adding some spray gloss and giving this one thick coat working outside wearing my gloves and this is pretty much it guys. Thankfully my vision came to life. A lot of times I just have an idea and it doesn't turn out but this one did and I love it. I think it looks really cute. Someone told me that it looks like a square cake cake and I guess it's the twine that is like resembling the frosting. I think it looks really fun, festive and classic and I think the twine gives it a nice effect but let me know what you think and hopefully you liked it as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Merry Christmas and take care. Bye!